I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. So many ideas and suggestions from you to keep trucks from hitting that infamous bridge, but could the answer to the parkway problem be one of the simplest solutions? The State Department of Transportation is giving it a go, putting up some new signs as promised. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan. Back on the story, live along I-81, where the new signs, Andrew, are being seen by drivers for the first time. Fill us in. Well, Christy, they are not spotted by drivers yet because right now I'm on a ramp that's closed. This is the ramp from I-81 to Onondaga Lake Parkway, closed for construction, but the DOT has been busy with something else, putting up these new signs. This is one of them, one of three upgraded sets of signs. It features a red circle and slash with a truck symbol behind it, a warning that trucks should go no further. If you've followed our reporting all year, you'll remember who brought this to our attention first, retired truck driver Stephen Lee, who shared this exact suggestion. He's proud the DOT agreed, so we caught up with the retired truck driver again today. Is there's no mention of the Route 370. Second thing is the no truck sign, which we really wanted badly. The third thing is the arrow, probably not by by uh, direction, but by accident, points directly at the low clearance site. Lee says this is a good start. He says more signs are needed on the other side in the village of Liverpool and along the parkway itself, Christy. Let's follow up, Andrew. Got another question for you. What has the DOT said about these signs or even more signs? Not much. They were willing to confirm that this sign is part of the overall strategy, but they wouldn't elaborate as to if more signs are coming in the future or what the overall strategy is. I was able to confirm that no sign additions will happen for the rest of this week, Christy. All right, new reporting from Andrew Donovan. And for the latest on the Onondaga Lake Parkway, 